how are you doing? You're probably wondering, where have I been? And let me tell you, it's been quite a month and a half. I think it's been at least that long since I have sent any videos out or done any filming of any kind. It has been crazy uh, for me in the last several weeks. So um, today I'm filming outside just to see how that works. Um, the clouds are kind of looking threatening, so hopefully I can do this before it starts to rain again. Um, I can say that's one thing about January and even into February, um, but all of January I think we had like, I don't know, 27 days of uh, rain, measurable rain, and lots of lots of inches. Things are muddy and wet, and, and uh, in the last couple of weeks we've had a few sunny days that have been such teasers. We're both, I mean, I am so ready for spring, I can't even tell you. So, <laughs> in any case, so <clears throat> let me tell you about my month a little bit. Um, the biggest thing and the reason that you haven't seen me is because I have been sick and I had the, a cold that kind of felt more like the flu and so I was, um, you know, about a week into it, I had a day, I started feeling better and I thought, oh wow, okay, I'm going to get over this and I'm going to be able to, you know, move forward on, uh, on my life again. But apparently the cold slash flu or whatever it was I had was not done with me. Um, I ended up with um, a double ear infection. I lost almost all of my hearing from just plugged ears due to the ear infection, a sinus infection, and um, uh, let's see, I made a trip to the doctor. They put me on antibiotics. After 10 days on antibiotics, it was the weekend, so I had to wait a couple more days because I still couldn't hear. I was beginning to feel better, but I still couldn't hear. So I went back to the doctor. He put me on a stronger antibiotic, which lasted a few days for me, and then I started getting some just horrible, horrible um, side effects from it. So I... Um, I had to go off of that one, but thankfully at that point, um, my ear infection had cleared up, my ears were starting to drain, and I was beginning to hear again and starting to feel better. But the side effects continued on uh, for a few more days, and today is probably the best day that I have. Got a lot of little bugs out. Um, today is probably the best day that I've had so far since this began, which was sometime Oh, probably after the 10th of January or something like that, between the 6th, 10th of January. Just, but I am on the recovery now, and I'm really, really super happy about that. So in the middle of all that, um, my daughter moved, and so I was helping her and watching children when I could and trying to help her get resettled. Um, and then uh, my computer crashed, so I couldn't do any videos at that point or any editing or anything because I was even concerned I was going to be able to get my files back. Um, I took it into a repair shop and they told me my hard drive was basically dying and were, they were able to save all my files. So I was so grateful and so thankful that, um, that the files could be saved. That was really, really important to me because I had all kinds of stuff on there that I hadn't, my own fault, I hadn't backed up. Um, but now it's all backed up and then it was, you know, I really wasn't at the point where I wanted to go and purchase a new computer and especially knowing that I'm doing video editing, um, having talked to several different people, basically I needed like a gamer's computer um, so that it had the video capacity to be able to edit and do all that. And what's really nice about having sons that are into computers and into gaming and into doing things like that is that they have computers. And um, uh, uh, my one son, who's also a web developer and is into gaming and doing all kinds of stuff, had a computer that he wasn't using that was actually a pretty nice computer. Um, but it was exactly what I needed. And so now he has told me I can use it for as long as I need it. So. I was so happy about that and so grateful uh, and thankful to have, um, you know, a way to keep on moving forward. So I've got that all downloaded with my editing software and I have my files transferred onto that computer. So I am good to go. Um, so those were some of the, the big things that have prevented me from getting on. Um, and making videos and uploading them and because I was so sick I couldn't even deal with my blog and so I'm, my plan now is to get my life back in 
up and running again. But the most exciting news that I hadn't shared with you guys um, at this point is that my husband has retired and he retired on the 6th of February. That was his last day of work. And he is an aircraft mechanic and he has worked for a regional airline that is owned by Alaska Airlines for the last 33 years. And um, you know, there just comes a point when you know it's time, you know, that you've, you've done your job and it's time to move on in life. And we are just so happy about this decision. We've had, uh, you know, a little bit of time now, a week, maybe, you know, or so um, of his retiring, and he jokes about it being the endless weekend, and that has been how it's kind of felt. Um, so, you know, we're also learning how to adjust to that and figuring out our new daily normals that, <clears throat> that don't involve getting ready for work and me getting him ready for work, and so it's just, uh, but we're both really, really enjoying it. We're looking forward to, you know, spending more time with family. We're looking forward to traveling more. We have kids um, in uh, different states. And, you know, normally our closest kids, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> take a sip of my coffee since this is coffee with Crystal. My, um, um, the closest children that I have, we have two daughters that live down in Sacramento, and I have two grandsons down there, and so what, um, that's, you, normally we, <clears throat> my husband gets a little time off, and, you know, we got to race down there so that we can spend a few days and then we'll race back home so we can get back to work, and what we are mostly looking forward to at this point is going down there and just being able to spend some really, really nice time with the kids and the grandkids, you know, it's so hard to have grandchildren that far away that, you know, they don't get to know you and you don't get to know them very well. And so we're just super excited about grandchildren time and seeing the two daughters that are down there. We also have a daughter that lives down near San Diego, another daughter that lives in Kentucky, um, and she has four children. And so those are grandchildren that we don't spend any time with at all <clears throat> because it's very difficult to fly four children out. Um, you know, she was here last year with her husband and, and the baby, but, um, and then we had the oldest grandson out during the summer, um, but we have two grandchildren there that we have never even met before. So um, we're really looking forward to at some point, uh, you know, taking a nice long road trip and going and seeing them. Uh, we prefer road trips over flying. One thing about working for the airlines is that my husband stayed there long enough and met the requirements to have um, continue his flight benefits. Um, so all the years that he's worked for the airline, we've had uh, free flights on Alaska Airline or the regional airline that he worked for. And so we've taken advantage of those often during the, the years. And now he will continue to have uh, flight benefits, but being retired, you know, it's not about getting there as fast as possible anymore. We're going to be enjoying the ability to just, you know, take our time and enjoy the road trip, see the sights along the way, and uh, and just spend more time with family. So those are, you know, some of our highlights that we have uh, coming up. Hopefully this year we'll be able to make a road trip to see everybody. Um, anyway, so um, that We've had just a whole lot of exciting news kind of wrapped up into this last month and a half. And, of course, I wasn't able to share a lot of that with you due to the fact that I was so sick. Um, but I'm past that now and, um, uh, and moving forward. But I wanted you guys to have a quick update from me so that you could uh, know what was going on and what's happened. And I feel like it's the restart of the restart <laughs> of my channel. But... Um, it's going to take me a little bit of time to, you know, get some more video um, gathered up of different projects I'm working on and different things I'm doing. Uh, but, um, you know, as soon as I can, I will be getting more videos out to you. So that is the update of where, what happened to me and where my life is at this moment. So in any case, thanks for watching and I hope to see you very, very soon again. All right. Bye-bye.